Hello and welcome to another segment brought to you by Fast Education Consulting. I'm your host, Ali Sachu, and in this video, we will explore Dandapani and his inspiring TED Talk on the art of concentration, learning about improving focus and our awareness levels. fastedu.ca inspiring great minds okay so not quite the typical subject matter on this channel but very relevant to international students and of course to anyone else that wants to benefit from these simple tips on the art of concentration i often question my focus and concentration at times of reflection and find my awareness wandering which is why i chose this subject for exploration today Let's begin and dissect the talk to relate it in our space and see maybe we, what we can learn from it. What is Dandapani all about here when he talks about the art of concentration? I feel like he's referring to the practicing and learning of being aware or giving our full concentration to a particular thing or person. Now, I always find myself distracted by technology and especially with all the alerts on our phones these days, it's become very difficult to give our 100% to any particular thing. Besides, some of us you know, talk about multitasking and in fact, some of us also have it on our resumes as a skill set. These notifications that tell us when to look at our phone makes it very easy to be distracted and sometimes it's a necessary evil. It also makes us very good at being distracted because we practice it every day. In other words, the technology is choosing for us when to be distracted versus us choosing when we want to engage with the technology. Now, unlike Dandapani, I'm not suggesting that you turn off your notifications, rather be in control of when you look at your notifications. It's certainly what I'm going to start doing and practicing, and I am no longer going to look at every, every alert on my phone. Rather, I will practice full focus uh, and be cognizant about my focus levels. The key to focus and concentration, I think, is to learn it. We're never taught it at an early age, uh, but we're told to concentrate. You know, we tell our children to concentrate. And worse, we don't practice focusing or keeping our awareness levels in one place. Rather, like I mentioned earlier, we practice being distracted, which makes us very good at being distracted. After all, Practice makes us perfect, right? Here's a method that Dandapani teaches on practicing and keeping your awareness in a particular situation and improving concentration. He actually uses the analogy of a good movie that can take you through different feelings such as horror, suspense, uh, happiness, sadness, excitement. And it's because the director of the movie is able to keep your awareness and it move it from one feeling to another which is maybe because we're interested and it requires acknowledgement. Let's do this as I wrap up this video. Let's try using meditation techniques to practice. Next time we talk to someone, let's consciously be acknowledging it that we're going to give them 100% of concentration. To go through this practice, might I suggest you watch the video in the description, which will give you more details and an example on how to learn and practice your concentration skills by focusing your awareness levels. This is critical to both our success, and I really wish you all the best in acquiring this skill set as I try exploring it and acquiring it myself. Until next time, fasttdu.ca, inspiring great minds.